Aha! Hello and good evening to you. It's me, Scotty McClue. And it's time to start our fabulous, world-famous global talk show. Starting right now, of course, we've got one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for not just one nation, but for the whole world. Excellent stuff, I say. Nine o'clock, nothing gets past me. Sunday night, I warned you, nothing gets past me. And it's lovely to be with you for show number 78 of our wonderful, wonderful global Facebook Live shows. Live on Facebook Live, one of the world's top broadcast platforms. Tremendous stuff. There's Ryan William Rear saying, Hi, Dinky Doo, Ryan, and hi to you, John Simpson. Come and join us. Hearing on True Radio, says the wonderful Henry Newton. Excellent. Great to be with you guys. What a fabulous week. Graham McCulloch, lovely to have you with us, of course. Good evening, Scotty, says Stephen Burrows. And Stephen, Stephen Menzies on Mingus. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, you wonderful man. Thank you for keeping the real network running so well. And thank all your colleagues, of course, from a grateful nation. Evening, Scotty, says Ben Lucas. will listen later. Working now, dinky-doo. Tell 10, dinky-doo. David Negus, dinky-doo. Julianne Scott, dinky-doo. Lovely to have you with us of course now guys throughout the program it's up to you it's your show so tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and share 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 all right scotty happy mother's day homeland scotty hi scotty dinky do hope my donation will help you ryan david scott that is extremely kind of you thank you grace mcdonald graham mcculloch hello scotty and um, Frank Gary Crossley, dinky do Gary Crossed as well. Scotty, where would you recommend to visit? Says Ryan William Rea. Where are you coming from, Ryan William Rea? Jason Fife is there. Eddie Doby Senior, Brian McWilliams, David Mortimer. Brian says, "Good evening, sir." I say to you, Brian McWilliams. Good evening, sir. You're watching Scotty McClue, folks, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet, live for one hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment to not just one grateful nation, but to all nations throughout the world. How do, squire, says Adam Fuller, adopting a North of England accent. Hi, Scotty, I wonder who will be the first to mention the old firm, says V.J. Dukerum. Well, we shall find out the old firm has everybody behaved themselves today. I suspect not everybody. So there we are. Uh, Donna D, dinky do. There we are. Lovely, lovely stuff. Excellent to be with you. What a wild week we've had here in Coat Bridge. Uh, fun fair came, but I don't think they could have made much money. Good evening, sir. Long time not heard from you since the 80s in Nottingham, says Patrick Para Collins. Lovely to be back with you, Patrick Para Collins. Michael Paul McVeigh, Dinky Doo, Charles McLaughlin. Look about you, says Jacqueline Mallory. Look about you as well, Hen. Lovely to have you with us. Visit Barrel, Ryan. Get to your bed, says Rab Hill. Um, evening, Scotty. Evening, Scotty. VJ was the first. Dinky Doo, Scotty. Up the Celtic says Steve Burrows. Well, we don't really do football in a big way in terms of phoning, etc. But nevertheless, up the Celtic, up the Rangers, up the Morton, up the whole lot of them. I say, fantastic, great stuff. Can't hear you, says James Adamson. Well, you'll have to get your ears cleaned out, James, because everybody else can. Blair McHattie, of course, wonderful stuff. Turn on your speakers, that might help. Ryan David Scott says, ha ha, excellent stuff. Nivag Shitek is watching. Uh, was there a show last week during the bad weather, VJ? We always have a show. Scotty McClue always has a show. Scotty McClue has got to get through. Very, very important. Welcome, 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 folks. If you've just joined us, make sure you tell everybody about this wonderful program. Tell them and tell them and tell them and tell them. Tremendous. Um, shout out to my wife, Leanne, from my son, Junior, for Mother's Day, please, Scotty, says Andrew Duffy. Leanne Duffy, dinky do a big shout out for Mother's Day. Now, quite happy to do shout outs for Mother's Day. You can't beat a good shout out. Uh, he's the Time Lord of the Internet, says Ryan David Scott. I am indeed. And um, I had a problem. Something wrong with it. It just shut down and opened back up. 
says Julie Ann Scott. I think it did that for us all, Julian. I think sometimes when there's a tremendous race of people at the one time tuning in. Nikki Anderson, Dinky Do, and thank you, says Andrew Duffy. We are, of course, at the mercy of the... Um, the the uh, the little things the little robots and things like that the algorithms so there we are it depends how many people are allowed to see it there's no reason why we shouldn't have an audience of 1.8 billion people live on facebook live because this is of course high value content that people want to see so let's hope the algorithm takes pity on us and is kind to the show i say excellent stuff true radio excellent daniel watt a shout out to my brother graham robertson please says davy mortimer graham robertson dink you do from davy mortimer just to you got your back says james adamson excellent james how's it going says wedge it's going beautifully wedge excellent stuff thousands upon thousands scotty i'm going to buy you a new hat says david niggas no you don't have to dig us we've got um david niggas we've got a whole wardrobe full of hats there's, there's dozens of them down here for starters so there you are shamsur raman katik is watching dinky do shamsur welcome 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 i say to the scotty mcclue facebook live show we are live on Facebook Live. There we are, self-explanatory. It's not rocket science, as I used to say to my friends from NASA. Good evening, Mr. McClure. How are you? This is Douglas McPherson. Exit, Doug. Better for hearing from you. Shug Plunkett is with us. Tremendous stuff. James Nicholas and Murray Ramage, the wonderful Murray Ramage. Murray, thank you for sharing so much. Now, if you look at my Facebook page, you'll see that today is 75 years since HMS Harvester uh, was sunk in the Battle of the Atlantic with my dear Uncle Colin on board. So there you are, he was 21 years of age, and uh, he drowned on the harvester, and uh, she went down with the crew singing, You Are My Sunshine, at the top of their voices. Uh, what are we going to talk about tonight? Everyone says Ryan David Scott. Well, we've got Mothering Sunday for a start. Is it a good thing, a bad thing, an enjoyable thing? Do people not bother about it? What do you think of Mothering Sunday, Mother's Day? Let's have the mothers on. So there you are. That would be wonderful. Some pretty top broadcasters watching. So there you are. R.I.P. Uncle Collins, says Ryan David Scott. Absolutely. Gordon Hay, dinky-doo. I've just shared your Facebook Live video, says Ryan William Rea. Thank you very much. Where are you based, Ryan William Rea? Do tell us. Julianne Scott, Mama Hippus did. So there we are. Mama Hippus did. Have I said it right, Julianne Scott in Welsh? Mother Sunday's a good thing, as is Father's Day. A good thing, says Eddie Doby Sr. Now, we had National Women's Day during the week. Would you say National Women's Day is a bit gender-specific? Are any of you guys getting a bit anxious that we're hearing too much of the battle cry from the monstrous regiment? Do tell. Spill the beans. Scotty needs to be on more than once a week, says so Steve Burroughs. Of course, Steve, if I had my way. But we're talking to some pretty big radio people at the moment, so who knows what the future may bring. Scotty, my mum and mother-in-law are in Amsterdam for a weekend in their 60s. Will they behave? Well, Mark Gow, you know that 60 is the new 50, and perhaps even the new 40. Rashid Islam is watching. Dinky do, Rashid. Why are you anti-British, says Alan Askew. Where on earth did you get that silly idea, Alan Askew? Where did you get that from? Come on and discuss it with me. Come on, messenger, and we will chit-chat. Put your reasons down there. What makes you think Scotty McClure is anti-British? I'm on the Celtic, says Paul Leslie. I think you're a bit late, Paul. The game's actually over, believe it or not, unless it went takes the time. Not really. I think women should get the same equal rights as men. We're in the 21st century. Things need to change, says Ryan David Scott. What I will say to you, National Women's Day is a good thing, says Eddie Doby Sr. Dinky do, Scotty, says David Jones. See, when you say mum, it you know, it's the same way backwards, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Well, there you are. I was um, 
going to uh, send out maps backwards, but somebody said that would be spam. So there you are. My mother-in-law doesn't believe in Father's Day, however loves Mother's Day. Walk that one out, says Stephen Wearmouth from County Durham. What do you think of the mighty Ayrshire Killy? Says David Jones. Oh, fantastic. Are you talking about the pies? I was sorry to hear about Wreath. Would you think of getting another dog, says Adam M. Fuller. I've had another dog. Wreath died a long time ago, Adam. He's at Rainbow Bridge waiting for his master. And when I pop off, Wreath will be there to meet me with his tail a-wagging. But I have little Clyde, who's uh, 11 years old and really the most gorgeous creature. So there you are. Uh, let's do it, says Alan Asker. Yes, what are you talking about? Where were you getting this from, Alan? All right, Scotty, says Richie McCusker. Dinky do, Richie, a fine name. I know one or two McCuskers. So there we are. Lol, spam, deep fried. No, no, Rab Hill, I have to tell you. I, um, you know, what, uh, I put, um, firelighters into my search engine to see what, and I got 10,000 matches. You know, that sort of thing could happen. Now, guys, there might be the odd comfort break tonight. Just a quick walk down because the studio is absolutely roasting. Somebody's left the heating on. Diane DeMac, how much do you pay for the cap, says Josh Rahu Wood. I think this one, if I remember right, I think it was about uh, six or eight pounds. It's a while back. I can remember a boss negotiating with me to do a show for him. And said, is there anything else you need? That's your money sorted. That's your salary. That's your bonuses. All that sort of stuff. There's your, there's your car allowances. Is there anything you need? I said, well, what would clinch the deal is a new bonnet. And uh, he did. He provided it. That's nice. Show us Clyde sometime. Yes, I will. Start the phone in again, Scotty, says David Negus. This is all up for discussion, David, as we speak. We're talking to very, very senior radio people, and there are meetings going on all the time, as they put it to their senior people and their senior people. And they say, can we afford Scotty McClue? And as you know, a media mogul once said, the, the, the programmer went to the media mogul and said, can we afford Scotty McClue? And he said, can we afford not to have Scotty McClue? So there we are. That's nice. Show us Clyde, says Adam. I will do. Uh, can you say happy Mother's Day to Jackie Jones? Says David Jones. David Jones, dinky do. I wouldn't like to enter your locker, but what I shall say is happy Mother's Day to Jackie Jones. Dinky do, Jackie. Lovely to have you both with us. Um, Callum Murray, dinky do. I can fix your heating. Uh, so there we are. I'll send Jim McGlynn round. He's an old fellow, but he does a great job. Says Douglas McPherson. Thank you, Douglas. Dinky do. Alex Robertson, one of our finest actors. Dinky do to you. A live phone in, says Gerald Mackay. Yes. We're doing a live phone in, but we can do a phone in right now, this second, if you want to come on Messenger. They, but you need to just give it time. So there we are. Mark Billington, Dinky do, and Ingalls, 30 quid, Scotty. Have my phone, says Rab. Tremendous stuff. Neil O'Gormley, Dinky do to you. Now, as I say, 75 years ago today, my uncle, at the age of 21, went down with the HMS Harvester. So there we are. Battle of the Atlantic. Those of you that know your Second World War history would know that the German submarines, the Kriegsmarine, were uh, hunting in wolf packs in the Atlantic to try and uh, kill off the convoys, because that would have cut off the supply chain to Britain. And Harvester was one of the destroyers, H-18. And um, what she did was she was ramming submarines. They were bringing them to the surface. Thanks for the nice words of praise to myself and other railway workers. Much appreciated, Scotty, says Stephen Menzies. Absolutely. So there we are. And uh, Stephen Mooney's watching and some other very wonderful people. If you're watching there, I know who you are and you know who you are. And that's what matters. So there you are. So 75 years ago, Uncle Colin, and I'll show you a picture. This is he. There we are. Good looking guy. And um, I hear great things about Uncle Colin. Uh, so there you are. Anybody that ever knew him. Absolutely loved him. He's six foot. Very good looking guy. And um, there you are. Do you always wear a shirt and tie? Says Josh Mahoud. Yes, I tend to do. I usually take the uh, shirt and tie off at night and put on the tartan night shirt. 
So there you are. I uh, think we're about to have a power cut here at Coat Bridge. The lights flashed on and off. Round David Scott, it just might be everybody tuning in to Scotty McClue. That could do it. Let's have more hearts and thumbs up and dinky do from all of you. Come on. Tap, 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 tap on your screens. And it's share time, by the way. I make it 9.15. Can everybody start sharing the show as quickly as possible? Because remember, it passes in a flash and will be finished. 10 o'clock will be here and McClue will be gone. And you won't have seen anything yet. John Hodgson, Dinky Do, one of our finest broadcasters and a great radio exec. Um, so there we go. It's how you do it, Scotty. Let's have a debate, says Alan Esker. Yes, but I, where did you think I was anti-British? The only point I've made when people say I'm British, not Scottish. There's no comparison. It's like apples and pears, right? It's like speaking Chinese and Urdu, different languages all together. So there you go. Now, what I'm going to tell you here, there is no such country as Britain. So if you're British, it means you're either Scottish, English, Northern Irish, or Welsh. All right? That comes first. And as for putting uh, We Union flags on foodstuffs coming out of Scotland. Sorry, doesn't wash. All that will do is see a drop in sales. The country of origin is Scotland, and that should be clearly marked on the packaging. Also, anybody that uh, thinks they can ride roughshod over Scotland has to reread their act of union because they could be acting illegally. Scotland should have total equality with England. So there you are. So everything that happens, your Brexit, your whole lot, should all be run past Scotland. Excellent stuff. Shared as always, says Diane DeMack. David Phillips watching. Lol, Scottish Power are walking down the road trying to get more people to watch your show. So it's right, David Scott. Fantastic stuff. Who's the picture in the background, Scotty? That's me. That's me, dear boy. There you are. There I am sitting up there. And that's Reith. That's Lord Reith the Labrador. You can just see him there a fine fine dog and there's another mcclue for you and there's the thistle as well oh there's this all of scotland can you give my mum a shout out margaret mackay for mother's day looking after me being in a wheelchair scotty says gerald mackay absolutely gerald but there we go the one thing that i get annoyed with i'm not actually in a wheelchair but the one thing i get annoyed with gerald is when people talk to the person pushing the chair and you're left sitting smiling and they're going, how's he keeping these days? Is he all right? And it's good to see you out. And instead of actually chatting. And I had a lovely, lovely moment once in a supermarket. A lady in a wheelchair said to me, excuse me, son, could you reach up and get that for me, please? And I said, yes, of course I can. There you are. And I saw her later in another aisle. And it just so happened she was stopped and there was something in the bottom shelf. And I said to her, I said, well, the one shelf up it was. Actually, I said, excuse me, can I ask you a favor? She said, oh, yes, hello, it's yourself. I said, could you by any chance get that for me? She said, of course I can. We just bust out laughing. Lovely, lovely, lovely moment. Opinions on Brexit, cancel it cancel it we've still got time we could rescind article 50 take it back now we know the costs now some of the facts are emerging let's put it on ice for a couple of years and see what's what there's no doubt that um the present government are doing a very very good job of procrastination and brexit has been tremendous for um getting people to take their eye off the ball back home but i think cancel it cancel it cancel it forget it so there you are your soapbox is burning man says david phillips absolutely scotty please say happy mother's day to my gorgeous wife kerry niggas kerry niggas david niggas your fabulous husband would like to say hi to his gorgeous wife and wish you a happy mother's day so there you are now i have left a facility yes i know what you mean scotty says gerald laura penn's watching dinky do one of the world's finest broadcasters and a superb lady my aunt's in a wheelchair due to polio she's been in it all her life she's 70 this year she's an amazing woman and everyone speaks to her lovely lovely woman says ryan david scott i quite believe it ryan david scott mark gow the scottish man that wrote article 50 for the eu says it is not set in stone is that lord care i believe yes absolutely it's not set in stone and at a 4852 on duff chen where some people had been 
misconstruing the truth would probably be a nice way to put that, as nice a way as we can manage, then I think the government should not act on it. I mean, I have the pamphlet, I showed you it from last week, it says very, very strongly, you'll see it backwards, the government believes that voting to remain in the European Union is the best decision for the UK, protecting jobs, a stronger economy, providing security. So there you are. Uh, excellent. That's what it looked like when it came through your letterbox. You're seeing it upside down, of course, because I'm using the reverse on the camera. All right, big man, says Nina McLeany. Yes, absolutely. So you can't debate, says Alan Askew. What are you on about, Alan? I can debate absolutely anything. Just not a problem. So of course you can debate. You're very welcome. This is the place to debate. Come on, put your point, and I will discuss it with you. And don't be a fierty. So there you are. Imagine telling Scotty McLean you can't debate. Alan Steves is watching. Wonderful stuff. So there you are. Of course you can debate. VJ says, I can't tell you whether my friend David Young's watching or not. Can you give him a shout just in case, says VJ. David Young, are you watching Scotty McClue live the new? Excellent stuff. Cheers, Scotty. Much respect. You're an amazing man, says David Niggers. Not at all, David. We are all amazing. We are all together here on the Scotty McClue show. And tremendous it is. I'm just going to do a quick share for you guys. There's 20,000 people have had a look at that. Is that not fantastic? Right, here we jolly well go. Big, big discussions going on with um, top radio and television people, guys. So there should be some good stuff to report to you very, very soon. I'm just seeing if I can get up. I need to get a mouse mat. Somebody's moved my mouse mat. So there we are. Reload. Excellent stuff. And... Um, Scotty, forgot to get mum flowers. So save my life and say hello to Greta, says David Philip. Dinky do Greta from Scotty McClue. And of course from David, very important, gives a shout out, says Nina McLeary. You've had a shout out, my dear. What's your favourite country you've visited? Uh, probably Scotland, I would say, Joshua who would. Um, and then also England and Wales and Ireland, of course. The Brexit thing is the Abernethy ones says Rab Hill. Rab, what are you talking about? I've never met a man that talks so much nonsense. But there we are. But at least it's live nonsense. Excellent stuff. Oh, that looks like I'm looking down quite a bit. I need to do a lot more looking up. That's because what happens is when you come on, it's down there. I'm just sharing this. Share now, public. Excellent. And uh, what else have we got? Uh, so why not Brexit, says Alan Askew. Of course, we can debate Brexit, yes, but I think what we need to do is cancel it as quickly as possible. That's me debating. Have you got something to say about that? Alan ask you, if you have, then do come on and give it to us, and we will discuss it. That's what it's about. I'm just sharing. Uh, the USA is a fairly decent holiday. Depends where you go, Douglas McPherson. Where are you talking about going in the United States of America? So there you are. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. I'm just sharing the old Scotty McClure show here. Fantastic stuff. But I need to get my mouse mat on the go. This is uh, this is slowing me down. There we go. And you know these things they have on the laptop that you move your finger around? I don't find that terribly easy either. So excellent stuff. Right, that should be that shared. That's rather good. And we're going to share to our group now. We're going to share to the Scotty McClue fan group. I hope everybody is a member of that. Elizabeth Campbell's watching. Vermont, says Douglas McPherson. Vermont in the USA. Anybody watching from Vermont in the USA? We have a big following in America. Scotty McClue is something of a demigod in the United States of America. Wonderful stuff. Just sharing, guys. Won't be a second. There's the group. What group shall we call it? Scotty McClue. That comes in and that will pop up and I shall share it. There we are. Scotty McClue fan group for fans. Discussion and debate. If you're not a member, get yourselves on there big time. Very, very important. Brexit, can you dip it in your tea? Uh, a man lost in Edinburgh says to a policeman, excuse me, is there a B and Q in Leith? The policeman replies, no, sir, but there are two D's and two E's and Dundee. I love it. So there we are. They have Champlain Lake, Champlain, similar to our very own Nestle. 
Long Island, New York tonight, says Eddie Doby Senior. Uh, catch the mouse, Scotty. Uh, found my invite button, says VJ. Invite every day. Guys, start inviting people right now. Sharing and sharing and sharing is one thing. But start inviting. We're going to be sharing in a minute or two anyway. But start inviting every day to watch Scotty McClure. Get into this. This is your show as much as it's mine. Right? This is the people's program. This is when you get a chance to put your point. Uh, Scotty, remind the radio stations that whoever has McClure has the market, says Gary Crossan. Yes, I've been reminding a couple last week and I'll be reminding them this week as well. God remains watching, did you do? Again, why not Brexit, says Alan Askew? Because Brexit is fighting for what we've already got, Alan. Why would you want only a handful of xenophobes, right, want to get out of the EU because they think the country's been overrun by about 4% of people? Something like that. So there you are. That's how daft they are. Don't believe these people that are telling you to leave the EU. Okay, I was actually conned into voting to leave. I don't mind admitting it because I thought the money would be going to the national health that was on the side of the bus. How daft was I? So there you are. Um, but uh, no, we should not be leaving now that we know the actual cost. And we don't know the full cost. We might know the financial bill, but we'll never know the total financial bill and we'll never know the true costs. Do you see what I mean? Have you ever met the kind of people that can tell you the price of everything and the value of nothing? Right, Ivan's watching. Scotty, um, you recon, you recon Sharon Matthews' mum got a Mother Day card. So there we are, says Josh. Fantastic. Derek Hampton, dinky do, Rab Hill. 6% it was. What are you on about, Rab? Do you mean between one and the other? Was it not 4%? Was one not 48 and the other 52 or something like that? Uh, Stuart Main, dinky do, Brexit's financial suicide for all, says Ebby Eddie Doby Senior. Yes, I think what Brexit's also going to do, it will break up Britain because Scotland will insist on going independent, right? They've got the Labour conference on this week, I notice. And until Labour backs Scottish independence, because Labour betrayed the roots and the Scots consigned them to the political wilderness where they shall remain forever and a day until they back independence. The Scottish Conservatives, the Scottish Labour Party, the Scottish Liberals, the SNP, they should all be backing independence for Scotland. So there you go. Uh, don't know, I can't count, says Rab. Three of us went to a fancy dress party in Glasgow last night dressed as a giant sandwich. We managed to make it home in one piece. I love it. So there you are. Gus McPhee is watching. So you voted against Brexit. No, Alan, I've just explained to you. I voted um, to leave because I believed the side of the bus that the money would go to the NHS. So they are millions and millions a week. But we see that that was just um, a lot of hot air. So there you are. So I think with something that's as close as that, the government shouldn't act on it. If it's 48.52 uh, on a 70% turnover on Duff Gen, then we shouldn't be taking one step towards leaving the EU. All right, that would be sensible. Just remain is the whole thing. Excuse me. And uh, I noticed that one or two unkind people, sorry about that, quick knock down, one or two unkind people are actually calling Remainers snowflakes, which is a lovely term, of course, but I think in reality the leavers are the snowflakes because they will disappear like snow off a dike as fast as they appeared. And uh, Scotty, for a talk show, let's get this going. Come on then, Steve Burrows, let's get it going. Call me on Messenger. So there you are. You can see it there, and I shall take your call, and we will discuss. Um, how's your GoFundMe going, Scotty? I think we're about £530, so we're well over a third of the target. We're hoping to raise £1,500 for a bit of advertising and little bits of equipment. So if anyone's got a spare two quid, pop it into GoFundMe.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. You'll get them both that and PayPal. PayPal.me 
forward slash Scotty McClue, all one word. You'll get them on the Scotty McClue website, www.scotty-mcclue.com, and take a couple of quid and stick it in there. Scottish Labour disbanded in 1981. There's no party called Scottish Labour registered anywhere in the UK, says Eddie Doby Sr. Well, they should be disbanding. Eddie, because they're just walking about in the wilderness there. You're a wee legend, man. Got yourself, says David Phillip. Dinky do, David. So that's how the GoFundMe is going. Re moaners, says Josh Mahu, would yes, and Brexiteers, T E A R S, because A, they're crying crocodile tears, and B, they're tearing the country apart. Uh, did you vote against Brexit? Yes or no? Alan asks you, which part are you not listening to? Two, I voted to leave, but I voted misguidedly, it turned out, and I should have voted to remain. Now, have you got that? Do you understand? Right? I've changed my tune because I've got the facts. Right? Scotty McClure is not a political animal. I am an economic creature and I want what's best for Scotland and I want what's best for England and Wales and Northern Ireland right but Scotland first so there's no remoners Josh um, so there you are no phone calls and um, can I phone lol get a laugh rab messenger that's what we're doing it on right guys if you've just joined me you're watching Scotty McClue. We are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. The one everyone's talking about, the one everyone is watching. Share, 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 share. And invite people to join us right now. Go and do it now. Share it with your groups. Share it with all your Facebook friends. All right. Well said, Scotty, says Eddie Doby Sr. Scotty, can you give a shout out to my mate Graham Murty, who is going through a bad patch at the moment? Thanks, says Graham Taylor. Graham Murty, dinky do. We send you strength, every single one of us. The whole universe is with you, Graham Murty, and uh, I want you to get strong and well. Excellent stuff. Spot on, Scotty. Re Labour, says Mick Simon. Three full terms of office, new Labour repealed. Um, ho ho, Norman Tebbit's trade union reform laws, a disgrace for the party of the workers class who failed to support. There's more to read, Mick, but I can't press read more because I might lose the broadcast. So you are a racist against the English, says Alan Askew. Alan Askew, uh, you're beginning to get on my thrupneys, right? You're not actually making any sense. The, everybody that knows Scotty McClue knows that he is a universalist. There is nothing racist. There is only one race, the human race. I've worked in England. It's very important that no Scot ever builds a hatred of the English. What the Scots want is to govern themselves free of Westminster, right? That's all it's to do. It's just looking for self-determination. It's an administrative thing and to take control of their own income. All right. Uh, I'd say 80% of people voted wrong in the Brexit vote, Scotty. We'll save 350 million. We'll stop immigration. Truth is we'll do nought and lose a hell of a lot more, says Stephen Wearmouth. We will indeed, Stephen. We will lose everything. We'll be the laughing stock of Europe. We'll be the sick man of Europe. We'll be back to 1940 when Churchill had already torn his hair out, I think, saying if we surrender to Germany, uh, will we get to keep the Royal Navy and will we get to keep India? That was his concern. And I know he said jaw, jaw, not war, war, but he was a warmonger. So there you are. He wanted the fight. Good evening, Scotty, says Nick Baldy. Dinky do. Britain or UK is not a country or a race, Alan Askew, says the wonderful Eddie Doby Sr. Thank you, Eddie Doby Sr., for pointing that out. I'm beginning to wonder if Alan's just a bit daft. So there we go. And uh, not picking it up. Uh, Alan, are you really? 
says Julianne Scott. Scotty is not a racist, says Jim McKay. No, I most certainly am not. How can you have racism when there is only one race, the human race, and we are all members? Somebody was taking a bit of offence this morning um, when I was commenting on another radio talk show, and uh, they were getting really a wee bit annoyed. They were saying that, uh, is McClure not an Irish name? And I was telling them that we are actually all Africans who have come via Ireland. So there you are. Every single one of us tonight is an African. There we are. Alan, away and play with the bosses. Scotty's no racist, you clown. Says Graham Taylor. Quite right, Graham. Excellent stuff. Thank you very much for your support, ladies and gentlemen. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. If you're wondering who's popped up in front of you, like somebody in America once said, is this roster for real? Right, it's Scotty McClue, capital S, small c, O double T I E. That's the Scotty, the McClue, capital N, small c, capital C, L U E. That is the McClue. And we're live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. So much to talk about, so little time to do it in. TWP is denounced toop, which means stupid, says Julianne Scott. Uh, Pauline McConnell, hi Scotty, long time no here in a week is Pauline McConnell. Lovely to hear from you far too long. So there you are. Simon Tate, Dinky Doo, one of our finest broadcasters. Douglas McPherson, lovely to hear from you. Bye bye, Alan, says Eddie Dovey Senior. Last week we uh, got rid of quite a few people. We just uh, blocked them. Gone. Finished. So any idiots on uh, your racist against common sense, Alan Esco, says Stephen Wearmouth. Fantastic. No, Brexit would be racist. The people who are xenophobic, they think, ah, oh, there's too many of them coming in here. Do you mean there's 4% of them? Is that too many for you? Uh, excellent stuff. So there we are. Wonderful. Now then, uh, if anybody wants to come on and make a call to the program, you can do it on Messenger, and uh, I shall take your call. Um, saying someone is racist against England because they're in favour of independence is like saying Brexiteers are racist against Europeans. Absolutely. There's quite a lot of xenophobes uh, attached to Brexiteers, though I have to be honest. I've witnessed it. Uh, Scotty in England. Uh, Scotland and England forever, says Steve Burrows. Absolutely. But a separate nations. Uh, 23 years, Scotty says Pauline McConnell. That's right. Well, the program uh, is in its 26th year. That's not bad, is it? Uh, get rid of Alan. He cannot ask you a decent question, says Neil O'Gormick. Excellent, Neil. A wee go at humour there. I see what you just did there. Dinky-doo. Um, do watch that evil Knievel on the telly. He was mental, says Rab. There was um, an e equivalent of evil Knievel used to uh, drive the buses, and he jumped six motorbikes in a double-decker. Tremendous stuff. So there you go. Uh, that's what's happening there. Now, if you've just joined us, keep sharing, guys. Very, very important. I'm just going to turn that to there. If you scroll down, you'll see it was 75 years to the day since HMS Harvester sank with my 21-year-old uncle on board. He was a fabulous character, Uncle Colin. I didn't know him, but I do proudly bear his name. So there we are. I'm just going to do a bit more sharing. You can all do the same. Very, very important. Catch the mouse, catch the mouse. Who's coming up to talk to me here? Excellent stuff. Right, where's the mouse? Ah, where's the wee arrow? Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. Come on. We know you. There we go. Excellent stuff. We know you're there. We know you're there. Just getting a hold of it. And, uh, of course, doing all the different things. Yes, the program, 26 years, we had our Silver Jubilee last year since the program began at Red Rose Gold Radio in Preston in Lancashire. And then, of course, the wonderful Scott FM. I, can, I remember them saying, oh, that's a poor wee chanter of a station. And, of course, we came up and had the highest radio figures that I think they've ever had in Scotland. Is that not amazing? Um, just because it's a quality chat to the Scotty McClure show because of the wonderful people who come on so there we are I am but the catalyst to all of you um, wonderful right who else have we got here Scotty you talk twaddle it was only three bikes too much weight on the bus to get over six bikes 
It was a pensioner's day and the bus was full. <laughs> I love all that. I'm just sharing to the Scotty McClue page. Now, have you noticed we've got several pages on Facebook. We've got Scotty McClue Live. I think that's the one you'll all be watching right now. We've got Scotty McClue's actual celebrity page. Yes, as a public figure. We've got that. There we are. I'll just share this right now. And then off we go. And then we've got the Scotty McClue group. Who's this? Here's Rab calling. Right, we'll have to let this download a little bit. It'll take a wee second. And we'll see if we can get Rab on the go. That would be tremendous. And get a wee chat going. I'll just look for my little microphone. And see if we've got it here. Hello, Rab Dinkidoo. Hello, Rab. Excellent stuff. There he goes. He's just coming up. Stay with it, Rab. Hello, Rab. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me, Rab? Hello, Rab. Rab. Can you hear me? Ah, he's not sorted out his speakers. Right. Not a problem. Um, Eddie Kidd was Evil Knievel's UK equivalent. Johnny Strachan, Dinky Do, Eddie Doby Sr. My dad was an HMS Scimitar, H21 Destroyer. Yes, so she was just up, she'd be about the same time as the Harvester. The Harvester was H19. She'd been built for the Brazilian Navy in 1939. Let's debate, says Alan Askew. Right, come on, you start it, Alan. Let's debate. So there we are. All right, Scotty. Happy Mother's Day to my mother, Rebecca. You big legend, says Johnny Strachan. <coughs> Tremendous Johnny. Dinky do. Is everybody sharing as much as possible? Rab uh, hasn't got the patience. You need to hang on, Rab. If you're calling Scotty McClue, you must hang on. Uh, I'm just going to share there. Excellent stuff. We'll share in the Scotty McClue group and one or two other groups and get you on. You hung up. No, you hung up, Rab. You definitely hung up. Too scared. You scared to debate. Uh, who is this, Alan Askew? Shall we dump him, guys? Shall we block him? Right? We've asked him to call and start the debate. Is he a troll? Wonder a troll. You anti-British. Let's have a look at him. Somebody have a look at him. We'll see what's going on here. We'll get him there. No, I didn't hang up, Rab. Let's have a look at him and see if we're going to block him. Yes, there he is. So he's not actually got a picture. It's just a skeleton. I think what we'll do is uh, we'll block him. There you go. Right. You'll never hear any more from Alan again. He has been blocked. Uh, Brian Kirk's watching. Dinky do. No, Rab, I didn't hang up. So a happy Mother's Day. Uh, guys, Mother's Day, good thing, do you think? Gender specific. Uh, should we have National Men's Day? Should we have National Non-Gender Specific Day? All these sort of things. Do you think the monstrous regiment are pushing too far? There's an element of, um, of men hating goes on when they go, let's get women to take over the world. All that sort of stuff. I think, no, no, whoa, whoa. If it's equality you're after, you've got to remember that sometimes men were paid more because they were providing for the family and the little woman was staying at home bringing up the children. So we need to be sensible about all that. There's perhaps reasons. So there we are. Who's this? This is Rab. <coughs> Let's see if he hangs on this time. Excellent. Right, Rab. Right, that's me answered, Rab. Give it a wee minute or two just to do download and we'll see if we can get you <coughs> and no hanging up rab all right brian keswick's watching dinky do come and join us you're watching scotty mcclue live on facebook live the big one the one everyone's talking about and the one everyone is listening to are you there rab hi hi how are you you hung up no, you, I thought you fell out, didn't it? No, I fell out with you. How would I oh, fall out with you, Rab, for goodness sake? You better get a... Did you buy that ask you thing? What ask you thing? That no, guy, Alan. that guy, that Alan, he's Alan. gone. We blocked him, he's Alan. a dafty. No, that's right. all right. You he can't come that. on, so you yeah. can't debate, so you don't know about this. All that kind of nonsense. So we just... Uh, nah, a... We sent him down yeah. the river. He's, he's away doing the shoot. 
Did you get a boat? I might have a boat. Excellent oh. stuff. Stay afloat. <laughs> we're, we're a boat. We're a boat. Down the ship. Now, have you got anything to say, or are you just wasting the nation's time? I, I, I wish the nation's time was your leg. I can't you again. No, we haven't got time for that. We're just saying... I'm deep. Okay. You know what? what? Go on, what? Is this going to cost me a fortune? Not going to cost you a bin. It's free to call Scotty McClure. <laughs> it's pea beans. Get out them with chips. Et tu, Brutti? Eh, fish fingers and that. Et tu, Brutti? Have you got the fish fingers? Have you got the fish fingers? Right. That's definitely not to do with you. Have you said cheery bye to the nation? Because you're going now. Oh, is that you fired me off again? That's you fired off big time. So there you go. Right, that was Rab. And it says to rate the quality of his call. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. Excellent. Right, who else have we got? Uh, a banana boat says somebody. Um, Blockham says Eddie Dobby. Yes, absolutely. Cheers, Scotty, says Johnny Strachan. That's right. We have blocked him. He has gone, that guy. And uh, Julie. Scott says block him with the kiss. So there we are. Block him, says Steve Burris. Yes, he's gone, he's gone. Absolutely. He has gone. Big stuff. You just joined us. You're watching Scotty McClure. If you want to come on and join in the debate tonight, feel free to get a hold of Messenger. And he was doing stuff on Messenger. A little bit of glitching, but not to worry. Excellent. Good call. Could you all hear that? Uh, it's an umpty. Get rid, says Animoires. Neil Holgate, dinky do. How are you, Scotty, says Neil. Excellent stuff. A banana boat, says Julie. Excellent. A banana boat. Wonderful stuff. If you've just you're watching Scotty McClue globally, right? So let us know where you're watching. If you're watching in India, Africa, Canada, and America. Brilliant, says Mark Gibbert. And uh, look at you. you do not put up with any nonsense, you guys. So there you go. Let's have more tap, 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 de tap, tap, de tap, de tap. I want to see lots of hearts. I want to see lots of thumbs up. Excellent. And uh, remember, there are moves afoot to have Scotty McClue back on mainstream radio as well. Excellent stuff. And also perhaps mainstream television. Because I think this would go tremendous on uh, national television on, say, a Friday night for half an hour or an hour. So there you are. Perhaps commercial television, perhaps the public service broadcaster. You'd have to decide where you think Scotty McClue would be best broadcasting from and who he would be best broadcasting to. All right. And uh, who else have we got? Lots and lots of you calling. For the booking, you're tough, you're tough, guys. Machair Pevral, dinky do. Celtic or Rangers, says Josh Mahoo-Wood. In what respect, Josh? They're both excellent teams. Up the Celtic, up the Rangers, I say. Hello, Scotty, sorry I'm late. I had a few problems. You've had a few problems. You should have seen what we've put up with tonight as well. Can you say hello to Maggie, Scotty? Says Steve Burroughs. Yes, of course I can, Steve. Dinky do, Maggie, and a very big hello to you from everybody who's watching Scotty McClue. Now, where are you watching? Are you watching in Scotland? Are you watching in England? Are you watching in Ireland? Are you watching in Northern Ireland? Do you think there should be a soft or a hard border between these two great countries? So there you are. What I can see happening with this Brexit thing is that uh, the old Britain which of course is just a name for an amalgam of four countries, actually breaks up. Scotland goes independent. Northern Ireland may either go independent or join up with the rest of the Emerald Isle. And you have Ireland. And uh, the north of England might want to come in with Scotland. There will be a bridge between Scotland and Northern Ireland. And Brexit will really just be the south coast of what was England. I think that's what you'll be left with. Sorry I'm late, Mr. McLeur, says McLeur. I should think so. We start at 9 o'clock sharp. You are very, very, very late 
what is the actual time? Has anybody got the time, for goodness sake? Uh, I know I should have won in my studio, but we don't meet with national news, so there's no problem. Um, I make it about, would it be about 52, guys? Is that right? We've got about eight minutes. Can we have another share, please? Share, 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 and invite people right now. See if you can invite people to watch Scotty McClue. Share with your biggest groups. Very, very important. So if you can do that now, that would be tremendous. I shall get on and uh, and share here on Facebook Live, folks. Um, there we go. I must get myself a mouse mat for next week. A mouse mat. So I'll go on to Facebook here, and I shall share right now. Um, who have I got? There we are. I'll just share with the live video stream, and uh, and I'll tell them to share as well. Excellent. And uh, see how we get on. It's all to do with the sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. You're watching Scotty McClure. We are, of course, live on Facebook Live, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. Um, who else have I got here? A few of you coming in late. Neil's in Mary Hill in Glasgow. I know Mary Hill very, very well, Neil. I could tell you about it. Just going to have a sip of Adam's Ale. Mm. That's lush. No barley water tonight, guys, and no tea. So there we are. Can you say hello to Maggie? Excellent stuff. Of course I can. Bridlington in East Yorkshire, says Alan Shepherd. Alan's watching in Brid in East Yorkshire. Ah, right, oh, Brid. Welcome, welcome, I say. Glasgow FC, says Eddie Dobie Senior. Yes, Glasgow United. Tremendous stuff. Do you know there's a delay on here? There's me just drinking water now uh, on the other device. Tremendous. Robert G.J. Maguire is watching. Dinky, to come and join us, Robert. Uh, it's tremendous stuff here. Uh, Jackie is in Dunblane, a lovely, lovely part of the world. Dinky do. Very much commuter belt now, I notice. People are getting the train up and down. Lovely, lovely place. Nottingham Scottish and Steve. Aye, right, that's it. That's what it's about. Councillor Henry Anderson, Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. I'm watching in the room, says Rab. Of course you are, Rab. Rab, we're making allowances for you, you know. Uh, Falkirk, says Mark. Glad you survived the snow, Scotty says, Anna Mays. We did, Anna, but my goodness, it was tough going. Very, very difficult to actually get out at the time. So there you go. Keep your messages coming. Uh, time is very, very tight. We will have gone before you know it, and we'll be away. Now, there you are. Would you like to see Scotty on uh, national television or national radio, right? Now, I know I'm no great oil painting. I know I'm not Rubens. They are. I know I'm not Joshua Reynolds. I know I'm not exactly um, a sitting uh, subject for Michelangelo. But this is the way I look. That's what you get. If you've got a problem with Scotty McClue, that's your problem. Dinky do. So there we are. Uh, excellent stuff. Right. Who else have we got here? Keep your calls coming, I say. Wonderful. I have to invite all the viewers. Wonderful, right? We'll go back on that. Uh, excellent stuff. I would say ban Rab, but you would just think the feed had froze, Stephen. <laughs> you guys are very, very funny. Let's have another share. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. Anybody watching in America? What kind of tweet is your fine bonnet, Scotty? I shall show you my hair. There you go. Do you like it? Beautiful tweet. Wonderful stuff. The very best. Harris. The Terry of the dub radios. They're no so good, Susanna. Well, they'd be better if Scotty McClue was on it. In fact, we're getting this dab pushed at us. Scotty McClue would be able to find the corners for dab. So if anybody is watching that's got access to a dab radio and you want to try Scotty McClue's phone in, do let me know. Hang on a second. There we are. Quick wipe down. Very, very important. Whoo! Roasting here tonight. Tremendous. So there we go. Allowances for me. Care to explain, says Rab. That's right. Yes, yes. No, we'll not care to explain, Rab. It would take too long. We'll just carry on with the allowances, if that's okay with you. <laughs> right. <coughs> How are you finding? Because there might be a switch over to, uh, to DAB radios at some point. 
So how are you finding that? Could you do without your FM radio? Would you uh, listen to medium wave AM radio? Give us your comments on that as well. Excellent stuff. And uh, if you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. And we are, of course, live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. That is the new television. That's the one everyone's watching. That's the one everyone's talking about. Uh, in the United Kingdom, we had the Royal Marines Band concert from the Royal Albert Hall yesterday, uh, introduced by that tremendous broadcaster, John Sushi. Lovely, lovely guy. I've met him. And um, it, was a, it was a tremendous thing. It really was. It should have been broadcast on national television. You'll see it if you roll down Scott and Clue's feed for last night, you'll see the Royal Marines, HM Royal Marines Band. Prince Harry was there at the Albert Hall. He's the uh, new Captain General of the Royal Marines. Took over from his grandfather, the Prince Philip. So there you are. And uh, who took his last parade in the summer, I think it was, a bucketing wet day. And there was Prince Philip at the age of 96, standing ramrod straight, taking the salute as Captain General of the Royal Marines. What a guy. He has got my vote big style. Do you think gyros will ever come back, Scotty? Do you remember the post office gyro? You got your gyro. And they used to have a joke in Liverpool that uh, the mountain was kill a man for his gyro. So there you are, kill him in gyro. Dab is much better. Same stations, better quality, says VJ. Well, there you are. So, because McClure's wondering whether to, uh, as other platforms, because obviously we've got Facebook and we've got Periscope and we've got all these things, but people are pushing me um, to come and join their platforms. And a lot of them are on Dab, Digital Audio Broadcasting Radio. And things like that. Uh, Luxembourg Radio. <coughs> Do you remember it, Rab? Radio Luxembourg. It was quite sort of squeaky at night in this country. But everybody put up with that. Uh, a bit shushy. So they could hear Radio Luxembourg. Tremendous station. That station closed down. And I was surprised why it closed down. Because it was a wonderful radio station. Another quick show again. Scotty and I was not long enough, Sister Burroughs. I've just watched Crufts. There was a numpty who spoiled it at the end by running on, says Anna Moyes. There's always a numpty that spoils it when people are having a good time, Anna. I can tell you that. I'll tell you the ones that spoil it for me are the television announcers. That when you're watching a brilliant movie, and as soon as it goes to the titles, they jump up and say, Well, don't forget, they're coming up next. And they make the screen go small. And you're looking for the name of an actor or actress. And you can't see it because you've got this dafty shouting and bawling over the top of it. Now, I would have thought that that's actually in some sort of breach of something. Because if you think about it, the movie, part of the movie is um, so you've got the theme tune at the end. And the people that have made these movies, you know, um, what have the television company bought or rented? That's the big question. Exactly what? Do they have the right to come in over the closing credits so you can't see who was in the movie and you can't hear the wonderful, wonderful theme tune by top composers and what have you. And of course it ruins the ambiance. Do you know what I mean by the ambiance? It ruins the ambiance. If you've been watching a movie for maybe two hours or something like that and you're sitting there having a wee greet to yourself at the end because it's very moving and then up comes this dafty shouting about what's coming next on some television channel. I don't know. Get yourself a boat, Scotty, by the new Radio Caroline. Radio Scott line, says Stephen Wearmouth. Well, I don't know if you can have a boat now because of the Marine Offences Act that were brought in. Do you remember that? And that closed down the pirate stations, which were fantastic. Maybe a breach of the peace or something like that, says Machia Peveril. Yes, we might be able to get them on a breach of the peace. So there we are. Um, another quick show, Scotty. Good Yin Raps is Animoise. Fantastic stuff. You guys are wonderful. What a terrific show it's been tonight, folks. Really absolutely amazing. And I think it's time to go. So there you are. But um, I have to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for your wonderful viewing. Thank you for your wonderful contributions. 
And let's see where this show takes us. Right? Radio or television, we'll probably know quite soon. <clears throat> Radio Rental, Susanna, tremendous. Scotty, highly recommended. The greatest showroom at the cinema. I took the family and it was fantastic. Alan Cadden, I can remember going to Sound of Music in 1965. What an adventure that was. Great show as usual. Night, night, says Dee Gourley. Night, night, darling. Couple of kisses there. Where did that smoke come from, says Rab Hill? Must mute your telly, Rab. Be careful. I don't think Dab's taken off as much as people think. The licenses are too expensive. And the only stations to take them up are networked. Most of the independent stations are still on FM. <coughs> I think. David Gallagher, I would love to read more of your fantastic script there. Tatty by McClue, my good fellow, says Douglas McPherson. So long farewell, says Anna Moyes. Uh, yes, we have to say good night. A good week, Scotty. Take care, Bonnie lad. Top class, Scotty. Bye bye and dinky doo. Thanks for the show, Scotty. To every single one of you, this is Scotty McClue saying good night. God bless, dinky doo. Have a great week. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we tell Zane. Or one and a cheerio. See you all around. Catch you. Scotty McClure, sing to every single one of you. Dinky-doo.